gabapentin for peripheral neuropathy. You are watching a production of GoodHealthTube.com. What exactly is gabapentin? Gabapentin was developed in 1975 as a prescription medication. Its original primary use was to treat seizures, but it also treats neuropathic pain and has a number of off-label applications. It was FDA approved in 1993 and became a generic medication in 2004. Gabapentin is an analog of gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. GABA is a neurotransmitter that reduces the excitability of nerve cells in the brain, which plays a role in seizure and neuropathic pain signal transmission. Gabapentin mimics the calming effects of GABA on neurons. Gabapentin belongs to the class of drugs known as anticonvulsants. Medications in this class are frequently used to treat epilepsy, but they can also be used to treat neuropathic pain, the nerve pain caused by damaged or diseased nerve cells. It is not uncommon for gabapentin to be prescribed for peripheral diabetic neuropathy and post-herpetic neuralgia. Post-herpetic neuralgia is neuropathy caused by the shingles virus. What brand names are associated with gabapentin? Gabapentin is available in both brand name and generic formulations. The generic formulations are chemically the same and usually lower in cost than the brand name products. They all can provide effective pain relief. Gabapentin is sold under the brand names Horizon, Grilize, and Neurontin. How does gabapentin work? The precise mechanism of action of gabapentin to relieve pain is unknown, but research indicates that it strongly binds to a specific site, called the alpha-2 delta site, on voltage-gated calcium channels on a nerve cell's membrane. This is believed to be the mechanism by which it alleviates nerve pain, including chronic pain from painful neuropathy, and reduces the risk of seizures. Is gabapentin a controlled substance or an opioid? No. Gabapentin is not an opioid and is classified as a controlled substance in only a few states. Gabapentin is also not addictive. When taking opioids, however, gabapentin should be administered with extreme caution as the effects of sedation and depressed respiration are increased dramatically. What side effects does gabapentin have? Most patients tolerate gabapentin well, but there are side effects. Gabapentin's most common side effects include dizziness, drowsiness, and fatigue. Occasionally, dizziness is accompanied by ataxia, which is the inability to walk straight. Other side effects include vision impairment, dry mouth, retention of fluid, and nausea. Elderly patients are more prone to these side effects, and this may be due to drug interactions. One of gabapentin's serious adverse events is worsening depression and suicidality, but this is rare. Among the lesser adverse effects are rash, tremor, and cough. Can gabapentin produce withdrawal symptoms? If there is no taper after prolonged use, gabapentin can cause withdrawal symptoms. These symptoms include anxiety, agitation, depression, palpitations, and profuse perspiration. The taper should last anywhere between two weeks and one month. What is the gabapentin dosage? The dosage of gabapentin varies according to the ailment being treated. One can take up to 3,600 mg per day in three 1,200 mg doses. Taking doses higher than 3,600 mg is not advised and can result in death. Standard practice is to take the smallest effective dose to achieve the desired therapeutic effect. Dosing usually varies for the off-label uses such as anxiety, mood stabilization, restless leg syndrome, and alcohol withdrawal. These off-label uses often involve low-dose gabapentin. Dosing will usually need to be decreased with chronic kidney disease. The medication may be taken with or without food. Notably, gabapentin must be prescribed under the supervision of a qualified healthcare professional. Will gabapentin help with my neuropathic pain? Gabapentin has been shown to significantly alleviate neuropathic pain, including post-herpetic neuralgia, neuropathy after a shingles infection, painful diabetic neuropathy, and chronic neuropathic pain according to clinical trials. One randomized controlled trial after another have corroborated this claim. Worthwhile pain relief is indeed possible. Substantial benefit has been shown in systematic reviews. Keep in mind that every drug has the potential to have a unique effect on each individual. What is an effective pain treatment for some may not be effective for others. This does not indicate that a drug is bad 
but rather that individuals respond differently to different medications with respect to nerve pain and chronic pain. Also dictating when effective pain relief is attained is the nature and intensity of the pain. It is typical for this process to take between two and four weeks. Not only has gabapentin been shown to help with seizures and painful diabetic neuropathy, but it has also been shown to achieve pain relief with other types of neuropathy such as carpal tunnel syndrome and sciatica. Taking gabapentin for chronic neuropathic pain can decrease pain intensity and relieve painful diabetic neuropathy. If you are suffering from acute neuropathic pain or chronic neuropathic pain, you may be interested in further information on an important enzyme that was discovered that has profound implications with neuropathy pain. See the link in the description below or the pinned comment for more information on achieving relief from nerve pain. Let's recap the contents of this video. Gabapentin is a drug designed in 1975. It became FDA approved in 1993, and became a generic drug in 2004. It is used for treating seizures and neuropathic pain including post-herpetic neuralgia. You can use gabapentin for chronic neuropathic pain. However, it has several off-label uses. Its popular brand names are Horizont, Grilize, and Neurontin. It is typically taken three times a day, and must be prescribed by a physician. Extreme caution must be used when taken with an opioid or other sedative to avoid adverse effects. Prolonged gabapentin use can result in withdrawal symptoms when discontinued suddenly. Lastly, if you are suffering from nerve damage from neuropathy pain, you may be interested in further information on an important enzyme that was discovered that has profound implications in the treatment of neuropathy pain and neuropathic pain syndromes. See the link in the description or the pinned comment for more information on pain relief. Please like, subscribe, and comment. More valuable videos such as this are in the pipeline, which you can watch in our neuropathy playlist. Hit the notification bell to be notified when more videos become available. This video is not a substitute for consulting a physician. It is not intended as medical advice. It is intended solely for educational and informative purposes. Always consult a healthcare professional before beginning a new health plan. You have been watching a good healthtube.com production. Thanks for watching.